What's happening guys, Alessandri here bringing you a game or a showing of the demon game, Minecraft. Now I say the demon game because it's such a divisive thing on people's channels. If they post up Minecraft, they end up getting loads of Minecraft fans. If they don't get Minecraft, they're quite mad. Let's put it that way, I mean... Check C Nano's comments for example, he posts a COD vid and he gets constant Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft thing. So just a disclaimer at the start because I got a fair few subs I think from my original two Minecraft videos around the time when it hit like popularity. I just, you know, like the game was playing the game for, yeah let's make some vids about it. Kind of like what I'm doing at the moment, I played the game, I built something and I just want to make a vid about what I built to document that it was here. Because the server is getting wiped on the weekend to start again so all the people on this server can start anew. So I just want to document it. And anyone who's interested can watch it, there'll be a new COD video up in a couple of days. But I just want to make a disclaimer that I will not be doing any Minecraft Let's Plays. I'm a COD commentator, there will be a COD video in a couple of days. Thank you. So don't, you know, hello random person. So don't sub me if you like Minecraft, because, you know, I'm not going to give you a lot. I've done two videos already. Hello, Rick Gasly. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Anyway, let's sing. Here. But yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's it. If you're a Minecraft fan and you're watching this video, don't sub because you like Minecraft. Sub because you like my commentary. Thank you. Anyway. Let's get to showing you what I've built. Now, we know from the two previous Minecraft videos, I build big. I build very big. So, you know, straight away, it was built in a mountain, land on top of the mountain. Great. Secondly, it was building a gigantic pyramid that was massive out of gold on a multiplayer server that you could spawn your own stuff. I'd like to point out in this multiplayer server, you cannot spawn your own stuff. So everything is self-made, self-dug, self-sculpted, whatever you want to put it. In fact, my project, only about 2% of the materials have been donated me and everything has been gathered or done by me, which is why it's taken so long to make. And is pretty much the reason why I want to make a video about it, because it took amazingly long amount of time. So... Can you guess, if I turn around, what I made? Yes, you would be correct. I decided when I started off, and the server had just started, and I think I was like the 11th on the whitelist. This is the Minecraft MD server, by the way. There is a website for it, minecraftmd.org, I think it is. But if not, it's a .com, or just search Minecraft MD on Google, and you will find it. But yes, I started off building it, and I thought, you know, i got to build big. I've got to build as big as possible. I mean, people have built, like, small homes and towns, and it's a very social, very nice thing to do. But me, I'm just all about, well, if I've got to build something, I've got to build something absolutely gigantically massive. And that's what I kind of did. So, I'll take you to my Temple of Gloom. That's because originally it was the land above was meant to be a lot smaller so light could actually come down onto the structure itself so I would use the structure as well. But in the end I decided, well, I just want a land. I just want a land in the sky of my own. So it's a lovely water elevator that was originally supposed to be the only way to get up there. Here's my foyer, my main room, my entrance, which is basically just my workroom as well, with all my materials, and my green music tist, which I was really lucky to get, but which gets destroyed this weekend, which I'm really sad about. Very, very sad. But yeah, just generally this room is, uh, well, this building is symmetrical all the way, eight floors high, with, well, ladders going up to the floors, like four floors above. So, you know, you can get up there fast, and it's got some lovely views of, like, other people's stuff. Like, that bridge was the first thing, I think, built on this server, and it was, I thought, it was really nice work. It was really lovely and really inspiring. And there's a G-spot, if you didn't think it existed. It is not a myth. It exists on this Minecraft server for about ten seconds more until the weekend. Oh, no. But, yes. Instead of travelling all the way up to an unfurnished house, because I furnished the stuff above. What I cared about was the land above, not the building that led up to it. So the water elevator itself, what would be fun, other than climbing up? Doors are disobeying me. 
What would be more fun than climbing up a flight of stairs, several billion flights of stairs, to get to a land in the sky which goes all the way to the top? Of course, taking a water elevator that shoots you into the sky. Boat! Now watch as I mysteriously fail to enter this small entrance, because I can never hit it. I can never get in it. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, aiming, aiming, aiming. No, no, I'm aiming. I'm aiming this way. Go this way. Don't destroy... Arrgh. It's amazing how bad I am at piling a boat on Minecraft. I can't do it. Here we go, here we go. And the water elevator. Go up. Water elevators are a lovely thing. They speed things up a hell of a lot. Shoot you into the sky. Make things super dramatic. A lovely hole here, which I use to, you know, just hold in the water. It kind of drowns animals. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Plus, it makes the boats move around like crazy like this. I'm not controlling it at the moment. This is just moving around of its own free will. Which is kind of cool. Come back, boat. Go the way I want you to. Okay, chicken bounces your way. I'm getting out. Uh, sink. As you see, this is like several layers big. So, like, I collected all this dirt and made it all myself. So this is like an incredible amount of materials that's gone into making this. And this is my home. This is... Did I seriously just close the door on myself? This is my home. This is my lovely abode with three beds, because there's only one of me, but if I'm drunk one day, like, I kind of am a bit tipsy right now, I must admit. The three of me that I can see in a mirror can get in beds together. So it's all cool. And there's my balcony that looks out on the horizon here. Looks out on the uh, lovely terrain. Very beautiful and sculpted. I'm made to fit my exact measurements, in fact. It's just everything's very symmetrical on this. Everything's like 64 by 64 blocks. It's 64 blocks high, starting from the bottom to the top. So it like reaches the top of the world. Can't build any higher than that glass roof there. That glass roof is as high as you can go. Plus, the whole point of it is that it's a safe haven. When I play Minecraft, I like to take away all the risk and danger because I'm a pussy. So therefore, I build enough torches and enough safe havens like this that nothing can touch me. See, drowning machine. It drowns pigs. It's very excellent. And then the bacon falls to the very bottom of the earth and no one ever gets it, so what's the bloody point? So yes, apart from my house, here is my work shed. It's basically just got, you know, average things for working, plus some materials that I brought up here. Laggy. And some signs. I like your vids, I sub, Dr. Philbad. Oh, very lovely. P.S. I was only here to seek refuge from the creatures. <laughs> Quite understandable. Probably for me, in fact. Let's close those doors. And move on. So, here we've got, like, this This area is the one I couldn't quite figure out what to do with. Because the other area was, I mean, after I built the work shed and this little, like, forest area. Because, you know, you've got to keep oxygen going into the atmosphere and all that. Considering all the torches that are burning here. And not burning the trees, miraculously. I love this game's logic. And the fact that I needed food, which is over there, I was wondering what I'd do with this, like, quadrant of it. And I decided on building a stage and a picnic area, which is kind of odd. Learned how to build Minecraft chairs, which are, like, the oddest thing in the world to build. I mean, just signs on the end. It's like, oh, look, a chair, even though you can't actually sit in it. You should stand on it, and it's stupid. But, yeah, built this lovely little picnic area, night time. And a stage with which you can give your uh, political jibber-jabber. What lie shall I give the public now? What false promise shall I give the residents of this great country? You know, that kind of thing. Or, you know, just demolish the stage and uh, demolish the uh, podium and, you know, have some music. I was originally going to put uh, a jukebox underneath the ground here with that music playing. And hopefully it would have played around this area and just made it kind of, you know, atmospherically nice. And finally, my, well, it's kind of a mandatory thing if you're going to build a safe haven. My greenhouse for all my lovely, lovely crops. With my patented irrigation system going underneath the floor, which kind of eliminates the, the space wastage. Plus the fact that I didn't build torches in the sky this time, so therefore all the crops are built to maximum capacity. Which is excellent, I must say. And a billion trees, and a lovely pond with flowers all around it. Because you know, from my previous Minecraft bit episode, I loved flowers. I built flowers, put flowers everywhere. So yeah, this is my house. 
This is my bamboo. This is what I spent something like two weeks building over a period of time while I wasn't playing Black Ops and doing Black Ops videos. So, there'll be some more Black Ops soon. I just skitzed out and thought I saw a player around the back of my building. So now let's all go dance on my stripper pole as I say goodbye. And yes, that is seriously a stripper pole because you can't furnish your house with like anything normal apart from like bookcases, chairs which you have to build yourself, and stripper poles I've decided. So stripper poles, yeah, with four guys that can sit around it with carpet. Stripper poles. Anyway, this is Ollas Andri. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And uh, there'll be a new COD video in a couple of days. Cheers for watching.